Well, it's uh, hump day again, Wednesday. I think I'm finally getting to the uh, the end of my cold. It's not quite as bad as it was. Uh, I uh, even attempted uh, doing some mowing yesterday, but unfortunately, um, there was a technical glitch. I um, I got into it for about a minute or so, and then I heard this snapping sound, and the motor just stopped. And then I tried to uh, crank it up again, you know, using the pull cord, and it was fixed. The, the cord would not uh, move from the uh, from the resting position. I just couldn't get any. Uh, it wouldn't wind around. So something's something snapped. Maybe the cord is not attached to the drum that it's usually on or whatever. I'm not sure what the mechanics are, but uh, I wasn't able to uh, resurrect the uh, the mower. It started first time, no problem, after I, I you know, I used the cord initially and it it, uh, it started up straight away. So that wasn't a problem. Uh, but uh, on the second attempt, no, dead. And uh, I even opened up the housing. I took the, the, the Phillips screws uh, removed four of those which is holding this sort of a plastic housing over the top of it and unfortunately it didn't give me access to the actual mechanism of the um, of that cord my camera just cut out on me again it does this from time to time I'm thinking it may not be the camera it might be the actual card that I've got in there it's a fairly large capacity data card and that might be causing the problems I think uh, Always uh, people out uh, walking their dogs everywhere here. It's, uh, it's huge. Well, it's, like I said, I'd love to see what the stats are on dog ownership in this area. I'd say it'd be one of the highest in uh, in the country. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping I don't have any unpleasantries at the. Um, I'm going to Smithfield to get my eyes test to get some uh, new glasses. <laughs> Just overtaken by it. So you told everybody's walking their dogs. <laughs> That's a rather unusual combination, mind you. I could just hear this wheeling, wheeling sort of sound, and it came up straight past me. So, yeah, they are a little faster than walking, but uh, fine for the dog. Um, anyway, I'm going to Smithfield to get my eyes tested, so I get new glasses because one of the uh, lenses has got a lot of scratches and things on it. So, uh, with my eyes, I need all the help I can get. I want nice, clear glasses so I've got to go back to Smithfield and my only re major reservation with that is I'm worried about waiting for the bus to return and having some other some uh, sketchy character try to get me to pay for their um, their bus fare with the possible threat of physical violence if I don't uh, accede to their request uh, uh, there's old faithful that dog always goes crazy almost uh, about to walk home but the bus just went by going towards the terminus and I reckon it's about at least 10 minutes late which is really unusual for these buses they're generally much more reliable than that but he was going pretty fast and you know, obviously trying to make up time something's gone amiss so um, well it looks as though I'm still going to get to Smithfield today so that's good because I want to get some greens and stuff as well as get the eye test out of the way and just to get things moving and um, and hopefully I'll hear from um, from Adam who uh, told me he does do uh, mowing, lawn mowing. Uh, hopefully he's uh, available to get my backyard done because it's really high and it's just it's a perfect storm. I have to wait a week because of my cold just to do the mowing, and when I do, my bloody uh, mower breaks down. So it's been five weeks bef uh, between uh, mows, maybe five or six weeks now. So it's quite a long time. And there has been a bit of rain which has kept the growth up so yeah it definitely needs a trim walking uh back from that bus stop on uh, the cook highway at kawara beach stop because um i was expecting the 111 to show up and the 110 showed up about six minutes before the 111 was due to arrive but seeing the 111 was late today by 10 minutes i'm starting to wonder whether maybe the uh, timetables have been changed. I better check that when I get home. So don't mind doing the uh, 
20 minute walk or whatever it is, 20, 25 minute walk. Actually, I'll just check what it is because it's currently 11.49. We'll see how long it takes me to get home. At least 10 past 12, I would think. But we'll see how we go. <laughs> I've been housebound for a while. It's good to have a walk. Despite the fact my breathing's still a bit iffy. Oh, another one of those skinks that are everywhere, always racing across the um, footpaths. So, <coughs> they were very thorough at Specsavers when it came to uh, my eyesight. As a matter of fact, the, the woman who, uh, who checked me out for glasses and my eyesight in general did the test, uh, uh, she was pretty thorough, I've got to say. She was pretty good and she actually referred me to a... Uh, an optometrist because she thinks I should see one just because of my situation with high pressure in my eyes uh, which actually they, they, they couldn't test it correctly the first time the the, uh, the woman doing the, the eye test did it after the uh, the first girl tried to get the pressure on my eyes done and she couldn't get a, a correct reading but the uh, the other woman obviously better trained I would think she, uh, she got the readings and my the pressure on my eyes is fine <clears throat> and that's if it gets too high it can uh, cause damage to your to your eyes so it's very important to use medication to keep that in bay if that's bay if you've got problems like I have so uh, it was well overdue but what I was also very pleasantly surprised that the um, the cost of my new glasses is only going to be two hundred and nine dollars and that's only because I'm going with the anti-glare component, which is an extra 70. If I hadn't got that, it would have been like 130 something. So, uh, pretty damn good value, I reckon. And the, all the lenses are actually made in Melbourne. So, uh, Specsavers Central uh, Manufacturing Hub is obviously in um, in Melbourne. So I guess it makes sense because they, they can use economies of scale and to, uh, to transport something like a lens, it's pretty light. I mean, you, you obviously send it via airmail, I would think. But maybe they're tight as they don't even do that, maybe, because it's going to take two weeks uh, to, get a, to get them back. So I don't know what, how that works, but uh, I'm in no rush because the current glasses are fine. It's just that they've got scratches on them. And the prescription has changed a little apparently, so it's always good to update. And it has been about six years since I got the first uh, specs, so from uh, Can Central. So, yeah, well overdue. Now, here's the fun part trying to get across this damn highway. Wouldn't it be nice to have a walking overpass? Wouldn't that actually be nice? Jeez, oh, it's ridiculous having to rush across this bloody road. Absurd situation. In a first world country, we can't have a uh, footbridge. Just asking too much, I guess. Well, I got across the first bit, but there's a lot of traffic. And the, the Palm Cove bus was absolutely chockers. Uh, young, mainly fairly, fairly young group, presumably going for a bit of surf and sun, sun and fun in uh, Palm Beach I guess so uh, but I've never seen a like a midday bus that crowded it's crazy it's usually pretty quiet Palm Beach oh, I've got to cross in reasonable time still don't like playing chicken with the car so it's not ideal Yeah, so anyway, got to all the medical crap out of the way. Now I just got to find someone to mow my lawn and uh, get myself some more Ventolin tomorrow off the dock. Getting to write out a prescription. Apparently it's cheaper to get Ventolin through a prescription than uh, than just going fronting up to a chemist. You, they will sell it to you, but obviously at the full price. So... I'll just get myself a script tomorrow. So I'm going to come back this way. It's 
the first time I've been to these shops since I've come back from OS. And I'm going to be going to them, going past them twice in two days. Oh, it's a lovely part of the world. I'm very happy living here. Uh, it's very nice. Yeah, every one of the uh, people waiting at the bus stop got on the uh, the Palm Cove bus. That's unusual. You'd think there'd be a few that would want to get on to the uh, Kawara Beach bus, but no, no one. And if I'm lucky, there could be a Kawara Beach bus waiting at the corner here. And I might be able to get myself a ride back to my stop. But I'm not holding my breath. I almost did it once. I just got there about a minute late. If I got there that little bit earlier, I would have been able to catch that bus. But we'll see. Oh. Yeah, nice time of the year here too. Relatively low humidity. It's probably in the low 20s right now. It's a pretty nice day. No, the bus by six minutes. Now it's going to take me at least 25 minutes to walk home. It's another 20 minutes from here, so. Oh, well, like I say, good exercise. It's a bit blowy, but I'm still going to go for a bike ride uh, to the GPs. And, um,. First bike ride for about three weeks now since I was in uh, Vietnam. So, see how it goes. As you can see, the forest is still growing. I'm trying to get someone to mow the lawn, but it's hard work. I can't get a repair guy. I can't get. I might have to talk to my next door neighbour because he, he offered to. I could use his mower, and it might be a good opportunity because uh, it's getting out of hand. Yeah, I got a really bad headwind yesterday uh, taking the bike to the uh, GPs. Uh, a lot easier going back. <coughs> We've got some um, major bike <coughs> events happening this weekend. I think part of the Ironman thing is quite a few uh, events. And uh, the GP was taking part in one of them. And presumably he's fairly serious about what he's doing compared to me, which is just basically uh, on a particularly bad bike, uh, heavy bike, and uh, just short commutes. But it did the job. It got me there and back. And uh, the return trip was a lot better than the one going there. So, uh, yeah, that was... I got that, got my meds and everything I needed. Uh, the chemist was particularly busy. I thought it was real sleepy hollow, that chemist. But she had a couple of customers there while I was there. And I had to, quite, I had to wait a while to, to get served. So... Uh, but anyway, got the, like I say, got the dental and stuff like that, which I need because I've been sucking down quite a bit of it because of my cold. And uh, and when I passed, uh, came back, I actually passed by Scott's Mowing, which is the mob that I'd actually contacted about possibly getting my um, lawns mowed. But I've decided to go against that because <clears throat> they charge 70 to $80 to have each mow done, uh, not including GST, and uh, I figure that <clears throat> I'm better off mowing the lawn. It's not a pleasant task, but it's not that difficult to do, and uh, God, I've saved myself a lot of money if that's the case. I mean, I, mind you, I don't do the trimming, but uh, the mowing itself, though, um, is not difficult, and obviously, <clears throat> even though the... Um, <clears throat> the old Yard King is uh, RIP now. Um, it would have saved me, you know, hundreds of dollars. Uh, you know, more than about three times the cost of the, of the mower. So it's definitely worth doing it yourself. And that's why I'm heading off to Bunnings today to buy myself a Victor. And it's going to set me back 450 bucks. And, uh, but I figure... It's got a five-year warranty, it's got a, a bigger motor and uh, the Yard, yard uh, King only had a one-year warranty and uh, it's a hassle for me to get it. I, I tried to find if I get someone to come around and pick it up and repair it but there really isn't anyone that does that. So it's going to cost me a lot to, to do that. So it's not worth it. Uh, the actual price of the... Um, 
the mower has gone up from 260 when I bought it. I think it was about 260, and now it's up to 350. But that could be all part of this inflation that we're, we're encountering for everything. So there you go. So the, the plan today is to go to Bunnings, pick up the uh, the mower, and get myself a an Uber ride back to the house. So. So I'm just going to do a one-way journey today to, on the bus and uh, we'll see how it goes. The guy actually reversed to pick up a, co a passenger uh, after we'd left the actual stop at uh, Thomas Cook, I mean not Thomas, but James Cook University. Um, so that was a bit strange apparently and he was 10 minutes late and this time it's because of traffic so two buses have caught this week have both been late turning up but for different reasons so uh, now I'm taking I don't have to t play chicken with the Cook Highway to get to Bunnings because I'm down this end down the Kmart end of the street so I can just go straight under the highway and then I've got to veer right once I get right up the end of this street and I can get to Bunnings that way so it's a bit of a hike but it's not too bad it would be nice if the buses actually did stop on the other side that would be if there was a stop up here that would be quite handy but unfortunately there isn't one so yeah he's one of those chatty old uh, school type bus drivers so uh, he seemed to get on really well with the passengers and uh, yeah they make it a little more pleasant but uh, yeah, I hope I'm doing the right thing buying this new new motor mower. I think it's a probably a good move. I mean, the other one was a little underpowered as well. Kept cut, cut, cutting out a few times. This one's got a bigger engine. It's a two-stroke. I don't know if that's a bad thing. The other one's a four-stroke, the old uh, the one that died on me. I've got no idea whether that makes much difference. I'll ask the guy at Bunnings. And I'll get, uh, it's quite a nice view, that's the back of uh, Smithfield. Beautiful day, can't complain about the weather. Oh, the other thing that happened last night, my uh, electric stove just gave up the ghost totally. I was going to uh, roast some uh, potatoes, potato wedges that I'd made up, which I normally put into my uh, my salad when I make it. And there was just no juice going into the oven, so uh, I had to fry them. And actually it, it worked fairly well. I was surprised how well it worked in the fry pan, but it, that seems to work perfectly well as an alternative to putting them in the oven. I, I ordered the first um, Uber, and it, it was a 13 minute wait, and the guy turned up, and it was like a, a tiny mini miner. So there's no way that this... Um, uh, this particular package would actually fit into the back of his car. He tried desperately, but he actually cancelled the booking and rebooked me with a, a larger car on the Camry, so hopefully that'll be all right. But I've still got to wait another eight minutes for that guy to turn up, so I'm spending over half an hour just waiting here to get uh, a, a suitable car. So, But it does save you a bit of dough. It's only about $18 um, for the, the trip. Uh, compared to Cairns Taxi, it'd be about 30, I'd, I'd imagine, just just as a, as a guess. Although they do have those vans, which are very handy for moving stuff. I actually moved my big screen TV in one of their vans, and that was definitely a cheap option compared to getting a a, a mover to do it for me. So, but uh, anyway, hopefully this time we'll be in luck. The Camry should have a proper boot; shouldn't be a problem. So, uh, but that car was just tiny. The one that this guy was driving. Oh, poor guy came all the way from Trinity Beach to here. This other one's five, five kilometres away, or five miles away, it says here. Um, it's 3.6 3 now, but they were five five miles away. So they're all, all a fair distance from Smithfield, strangely enough. I would have thought there'd be cars local to here, but no. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. 
and uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or or if you're feeling really energetic do both that'd be great